What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back for another video. And these are my Week 7 picks for the Stephen Rose Tournament. As always, shout out to Stephen Rose. And with that being said, let's get right into it. Now, before I make my pick for Thursday Night Football, we got four teams that have a bye week this week. The Green Bay Packers, the Oakland Raiders, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and the Seattle Seahawks, who unfortunately lost their owner yesterday as Paul Allen, who also owned the Portland Trail Blazers, and he was also a co-founder of Microsoft, unfortunately passed away yesterday. So uh, some sad news coming out of Seattle. My thoughts and prayers go out to the Allen family and everyone involved in both the Seahawks and Trailblazers organizations, as well as Microsoft and even the Seattle Sounders, because he was also involved with them as well. But yeah, my thoughts and prayers go out to everyone involved with Paul Allen and the organizations that he owns. So uh, yeah, and with that being said, let's get right into these picks. Thursday Night Football, Broncos, Cardinals in the desert. This is rather easy to pick. I'm going to roll with the Broncos over the Cardinals. Something tells me that Bronco defense is going to feast all game long on Josh Rosen and that offense. The Cardinals just are not a good football team. The Broncos have a lot of good players, but they don't have a good coach. And I think that's what's holding them back. We'll see if they realize that and they can Vance Joseph before it's too late, but most likely they're going to keep Vance Joseph until the end of the year and then they're going to cut him loose. But we'll see what happens with that. But anyways, give me the Denver Broncos on Thursday Night Football. Moving on to Sunday games, October 21st. We got a London game starting us off. 9.30 a.m., Titans and Chargers at Wembley Stadium. Titans are coming off getting goose-egged by the Ravens, and the Chargers, of course, beat my Browns last week. I think the Chargers are going to ride the wave, and they're going to get the win over the Titans. I honestly think the Chargers are going to make the playoffs this year. Yeah, I think they're going to make the playoffs as a wild card team along with the Chiefs. That's my prediction right there about the Chargers. So give me the Los Angeles Chargers in this one. Moving on to 1 o'clock games, we have the Houston Texans going to Jacksonville to face the Jaguars. This should be a tight game. Both teams have been kind of up and down this year, but give me the Jaguars at home over the Texans. Next, we got the Carolina Panthers and the Philadelphia Eagles at the link. If this was in Carolina, I would definitely pick the Panthers. But it's in Philly, so give me the Eagles to squeak this one out against the Panthers. Next, we got the Minnesota Vikings going to MetLife to face the Jets. I think the Vikings are going to dominate this game. They're going to get after their rookie and make his life difficult. Give me the Minnesota Vikings in this one. Next, we got the New England Patriots going to Soldier Field to face the Bears. I think this will be a very, very good game. But unfortunately for the Patriots, I got the Bears winning at home. If this was in Foxborough, I would pick the Patriots all day. But the Patriots are not as good away from Foxborough because they don't have the refs. It seems like the refs love to help them in Foxborough. But when they're away from Foxborough, the refs aren't much of a help for the Patriots. And I think Khalil Mack and that defense are going to feast all day on that offense of line for the Patriots. So give me Da Bears in this one. Next, we got the Buffalo Bills going to Indianapolis to face the Colts. I heard Josh Allen got hurt, so most likely it will be Nathan Peterman taking this ball for the Bills at quarterback, going against the Colts defense that honestly isn't really good. This is going to be a sleeper right here, man, a snooze fest. I don't even know who's going to win. I would not be surprised if this was a tie, but it's in Indy. So I'm going to go with the Indianapolis Colts to narrowly get the victory over the Bills. 
just because the Bills are playing Nathan Peterman, and he absolutely sucks. Next, we got my Cleveland Browns going to Tampa Bay to face the Buccaneers. You already know who I'm picking. I'm going with my Cleveland Browns to rebound from an embarrassing loss to the Chargers, and we go to Tampa Bay and get the win over the Buccaneers. Give me the Browns. Next, we got the Detroit Lions heading to South Beach to face the Dolphins. Dolphins got a big win over the Bears last week, and I think they're going to ride the momentum, and they're going to get a win over the Lions. So give me the Miami Dolphins in this one. Now we get into the 4 o'clock games. Starting with the 405 game on Fox, we got the New Orleans Saints heading to Baltimore to face the Ravens. This will be one of the marquee matchups of the weekend. Give me the Saints in a very, very close game, maybe within a touchdown, maybe by three points. I think the Saints are going to narrowly win this. The Saints offense is very good, but then the Ravens defense is also very, very good. So this would be a fun matchup to watch. But give me Drew Brees and the Saints just because of Drew Brees. I mean, the Ravens have Joe Flacco. Can you really rely on him? I don't know. I would take Drew Brees all day. Give me the Saints to win this game in a narrow victory by at least three points. Next, we got the Dallas Cowboys heading to D.C. to face the Redskins. Cowboys put up 40 on the Jaguars, and I think they're going to ride that into D.C., and they're going to do work against the Redskins. Give me the Dallas Cowboys to win this one. Next, we got the Los Angeles Rams going to San Francisco slash Santa Clara, Levi Stadium, to face the 49ers. This is easy. Give me the, the Rams to win this game over the Niners. So, yeah, give me the Rams. Rams all day right there. Next, we got Sunday Night Football, Bengals and Chiefs at Arrowhead, by the way. The Rams and Niners game was originally supposed to be the Sunday night game, but due to Jimmy G getting hurt and the hype for the Niners dying, they decided it would be better off to flex that game out of the Sunday night slot and put in a game that honestly has more hype to it. The Bengals and Chiefs, two very good teams, both leading their divisions for now. Bengals head into Arrowhead, and I think the Chiefs are going to get the win. So give me the Kansas City Chiefs in this one. Monday Night Football, we got the New York Football Giants going to Mercedes-Benz Stadium to face the Atlanta Falcons. I think this will be a good game. As long as Eli Manning does not derp in this game, I think the Giants can actually win this. The Falcons got a lot of injuries, and I don't know if you can trust that defense against a very talented Giants offense. So give me the Giants to win this in a very, very close game. Maybe, once again, within seven points. I think this could come down to a last-second field goal for the Giants. So uh, give me the Giants to get their second win of the year. So there you have it. Those are my Week 7 picks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm Crazy Dog 99 once again, shout out to Stephen Rose for putting this tournament on every year. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it. I'm Crazy Dog 99. Let's go, Browns, and I'm out.